Hello, welcome back to Engineer's Guide. Today we're gonna talk about the fire pump diesel engine. And this we have here is the fire driver engine. And it has the model number and a horsepower of 310 horsepower. It's a very huge machine. This is the heater of which we use in other regions that are called to just heat up things in and this is the filter for the diesel diesel filter and here is the starter of which we've connected the batteries to and this is the drain points of which we are going to drain the oil that is inside the engine and these are the tools that we're going to use the filter removers so we need to get this before and this is the stopper solenoid and here is the heat exchange exchanger that is where this is the stopper solenoid actually and that is the <coughs> heat exchanger also as well that is where the cooling says like a jacket around the system of which it cools it okay so here we're gonna put the coolant this is it yeah and this is the guard that is guarding the place and this is the exhaust exhaust line on an exhaust manifold and here we have the oil filters we have one big one and another small one also as well so i'm just going to show you and here we have another filter here the white one that is a coolant filter and this has a coolant filter so even the coolant is being filtered before it's being used and that is the other starter and this is the cooling line okay this is the cooling line of which the water is being supplied to cool the system jacket it yeah so that is it so we're gonna pour the coolant here in this line yeah and <coughs> it's very important to just note this point that is the next starter okay so we're gonna go on to the training of the oil so it's a dirty oil so you have to make sure if you don't have a big container now we improvise by cutting this so you just drain a little by little when you drain small then you just close it then after you can transfer it to another one then this is the filter we are just removing first you need to remove with your filter remover then gradually you need to close your main line main supply line so as for the diesel not to be flowing continuously now it's being closed so, but a little bit will just come out because it was already filled so we'll just take them off so we can just replace them okay and this is the oil also as well the oil now is settled we've removed so we can just remove it now they will just be only small like that and this is the big one that we remove it also as well this is has been installed like diagonally uh, so a little bit of oil will just come because it's upside down so it will just and don't be scared because already you've drained the oil so only a little that will just come out okay so we just take them off then after we're just gonna clean and just replace them also as well um, oil changing is very important and this is the dirty oil that we drain look at how it looks like so all these things will just be running and you just have to just periodically check the oil you just check before so now we remove the coolant filter also as well um, this coolant filter uh, before they put some water so this is not coolant actually that is coming out it's water and because it has been there for very long time it's also blocked so it's restricting movement so as we remove water will just be coming out and after some time it will just and this is the <coughs> diesel filter that we are replacing now so what you can do before you replace a filter you need to first put in the diesel fill it before you connect it it's very important so as not to trap air in the system of course after you finish probably there will be some air trap and you have to bleed after all breathe after it okay so we'll just install it then after we'll just get our filter remover to just replace it this is the key that we use to just close it instead of 
using a pipe wrench you just need to get a better tool so as to just use it to just close it firmly onto the system so we will just replace it and tighten it very well to be secured so as for there will not be air spaces so as when we are running it will not be trapping more air into the system and that is the oil now we've left it for it to drain to the minimum and all has been drained so you can see there is nothing coming it's only small then small so what you can do now after you finish with this you need to get a flashing oil so we're going to use this flashing oil we we'll just pour it into the system then just make sure we run it a little bit to just circulate and bring out all the debris all the small small parts that are left inside so we will just close make sure you close it because if not when you pour it it will just come down and all that you've done will just be waste so you make sure you just close it then pour the flashing oil into the system then after you make sure also the filters will be fixed the filters that you removed has to be fixed because when you run the system the oil will just circulate so after you need to you can replace the old one to just circulate it around like that too because the new one if you replace it with a new one then you flush it again you can just have some dirt inside the new filter so it's better off to just put the old one that you drain the oil out of it you just put it there you just run okay so we will try to just run it okay so we start manual cranking we start okay so now it's running I'm um, sorry for the audio I just muted it because of the sound it's too loud but I'll try to just make it here also it's possible um, yeah so you see it's running so now after you need to remove all those oil that you've replaced that you put the flashing oil then put the new diesel engine oil you need to just put it accordingly you get a funnel to just pour it slowly into the system then after when you are pouring you need to check the tips with uh, you check the dipstick to just check um, where it has reached it's supposed to be in the position that is better like probably at the maximum level and also as to the coolant also as well you need to just fill it also up to the minute maximum like that so it is very important that you need to just take these things into consideration um so after you've poured everything in then that is where you can just start to just use your system because the oil has been changed the coolant also has been changed you just remove the coolant like where we remove the coolant from that is the same place you will just have to close the filter then later on you can just pour the new coolant into the system make sure to just put a required uh, a good coolant and as per the requirement you can just mix a 50 30 percent of water to a coolant so as for you to just use it make sure not to just use water only because the composition of water can just make the thing to just the system heat more often so it's better to just get coolant and coolant also helps it's an antifreeze and also the corrosion ability is very less so it's better to just use rather than I think this engine what happened um, it was using water and thereby just blocking because of the debris blocking the waste of the coolant so you need to just take very care most care and you need to just be very careful whenever you are working on such engines it's very important and you have to take note of it so after you've fixed everything you can just pour your coolant and everything you just check your oil level you make sure the coolant lid is closed properly to avoid any leaks to avoid any spill it's very important and after your engine is good to go you can just run the engine thanks for watching and please like subscribe and share the video make sure to just ask any question ask whatever that you wish to ask and the engineers will just attend to you any question that you're gonna ask
make sure to subscribe don't forget to like the video so as for us to make more videos thank you